Welcome back to UHM TV. The last mass deployment for Hawaii's Army National Guard was in 2008. Now another deployment is underway. Soldiers say they're more than ready. As you embark on this deployment, the word I think of most is sacrifice. The Hawaii Army National Guard is preparing for its largest deployment in a decade. Nearly 1,000 of Hawaii's citizen soldiers will be supporting various U.S. Army missions overseas. Some of the soldiers have experienced deployments before, while others may be setting foot on foreign soil for the first time. It's highly likely that there'll be people who are on multiple deployments, sometimes they're fourth. A lot of the new soldiers who've come in, um, when they got in, they noticed that everybody else in the unit have deployed three or four times and this is their opportunity. So the new guys are excited to go and the ones who have gone before are going to take that experience and share it with the, with the rookie soldiers. This is uh, going to be a difficult year, but as we've proven through all our training and through everything that's brought us this far, a good attitude will get you a long way. So um, maintain positive and we know that we'll come home safely on the other side. Leaving family behind is a reality for soldiers going on deployment. you got to really get in there so you can really mix it all. For Army Sergeant Tanisha Malayne Fortson, she'll be saying goodbye to her husband and two sons as she heads overseas. I try not to think about it so much, to focus on it. Um, I think some days for me are going to be better than others. You know, I'll probably have some days where I'm super busy and I don't even really have time to think or feel. Um, and then there's going to be other times, I'm sure, where I'm going to be really, you know, sad and missing missing them. I've never been away from home for a long period of time um, like that, especially away from my little one. So um, I'm going to be missing him. I think that is going to be a bit difficult for me. The last time a deployment this large happened was in 2008, when Hawaii troops were sent to Iraq and Afghanistan. But with all these soldiers leaving, what happens when there's a state emergency, like missile threats and natural disasters? For that, the Army National Guard looks towards its Air Force counterparts for support. What happens is the Air National Guard, which is 2,500 people strong, airmen, they take up uh, more of the key roles that the Army Guard used to do. So when the Army Guard heads out, Air Guard takes over. If there's a heavy Air Guard deployment, then the Army knows that they have to step up. So we have 5,500 National Guard soldiers, Army and Air in Hawaii. So if, even if there's a large deployment, Hawaii will still be safe. The deployments are scheduled to happen between now and 2020. For UHM TV, I'm Avon Santiago. That's a huge sacrifice for our soldiers and their families. Do we know where they're deploying to? I've been told that some of the places include Iraq and Afghanistan and some other soldiers deploying to parts of Europe. Well, we wish them the best of luck. Thank you, Avon. And thank you all for watching UHM TV. If you'd like to send comments or feedback, visit us on our Hoa Oahu Facebook and Instagram page. Until next time, from all of us at UHM TV, aloha and ahui ho.